almost didn't go today because it's gonna rain all day. Then I watched the weather, I kept checking the weather on my phone and at, at 10 o'clock it started changing so it's supposed to be mostly snow today. So I uh, got out the house this morning and it was sort of freezing raining. I still contemplated whether I want to go or not but I decided to go and now it's changed. The weather was 33 when I left the house, it's down to 31 here now and it is finally snowing. So I am gonna go uh, where I shot my big buck last year. I had a trail camera out there too anyway. So I'm gonna go up there and sit. Um, sadly, this is the bad weather. I'm gonna be sitting in the truck, not going out. But uh, hopefully I'll get you some more footage when I get out there. Made it to the spot. I'm gonna sit in the truck for a while. Uh, temperatures dropped from 31 to 30, and it went from snow back to rain, which makes all the little sense in the world. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully, it changes back, but we'll see. Uh, I have a little issue here where I'm sitting because uh, I forgot when I shot my buck here. A lot of this high growth was matted down because of the snow, and there's no snow yet. So there's still a lot of growth, so it's gonna be harder to see down range than I thought. So we'll see once it gets more light and I can see better what's going on. Maybe I have to change positions or something. But for now, I'll just sit right here and wait out the weather for a while and uh, get some more footage when it gets uh, lighter out. I guess, what is it? Mixing from rain to freezing rain. Sounds like it's freezing rain right now. I don't really feel any drops in my hands. I'm assuming it's freezing rain. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of a gloomy, foggy day. Uh, let me show you what I got out here. Using the Browning X Bolt 308. Using those 165 SST bullets. today because of rain and stuff but it's supposed to change the snow and it had snowed for a little bit but changed over to this freezing rain again so I decided I had to have a trail camera out this way so I want to grab that see what's on that possibly and I'll stick it out here for a while depends on how bad the weather gets Freezing rain in the back and forth. About 100, 150 yards down there, I just saw look like a partridge whip across the road from the right to the left. So I don't know if something spooked it out of there. Out in there somewhere. Could be a moose. There's a lot of moose in this area. Nothing's come out yet. 
put my gun in for a minute. I'm getting soaked. Drying it off. snow slowly. Snowflakes. I mean, it's not going to accumulate very much. Usually, usually when it accumulates, you get tiny little snowflakes. But those are some big snowflakes. <laughs> and a little blizzard here. Well, the flakes are getting smaller. They're starting to accumulate. Turn around. Long see that mountain in the background. That is KI out there. I'd be happy if I at least see a moose or something cross. We'll see. It's about nine o'clock in the morning now. Today is October 30th. It's not even Halloween yet. I'm getting snow. Might be a good deer season. Or an early snowmobile season. We'll see. I just had my first vehicle of the day drive by. I did have another one. He stopped right next to me and talked to me for a few minutes. Uh, I'd seen him last year in the same exact spot. We talked for a few minutes. Um, he actually says he has some pictures of the deer that I shot on camera, on his uh, trail cameras, and he's going to try and send them to me. So that would be cool. That little truck just went by. I remember the same truck going by last year around this time as a small new Ford Ranger. And there was also a Jeep going back and forth. I haven't seen a Jeep today, but still got snow. She's snowing pretty good. You can barely see. Probably. 150 yards down there, maybe 200. It's all white out going any further than that. We'll see, you got plenty of time left. No, I'm gonna stop Trevor. Oh, snow because the, the whole world has changed from what they used to to white so. but you never know well there's some granola something to eat the last I'll have so all I have left to eat is this I had a banana and a like a protein bar earlier Took a little bit of water Still got the rest of the day, Paul. I believe it depends on 
What happens, I guess? No sense driving around anywhere. Save fuel. Kind of a boring way to hunt sitting in a vehicle, I'll tell you. But it's cold weather like this, I can't get around very well. Especially when it's snow, it's this wet, slushy kind of a snow. It's really hard to get around. But it is what it is. I'm out here trying. Good 10, 10, 12 miles out this dirt road here. update later on if I get anything coming. Snow's picking up again. Still did not see anything besides birds and a couple of cars going by. Or trucks I should say. I have an hour and a half or so left for to shoot and light. We'll see what happens. Well, it's closing down the day because this overcast is getting dark earlier than it, uh, you know, it's supposed to, I guess you'd say. Um, and the shooting light is like a 556 or 57, something like that, but not even 5.30 yet, and it's getting pretty dark. So I might be getting wrapped up here pretty quick. One thing you do uh, realize, hunting, I do anyway, uh, it's a time of reflection, a lot of re thinking back at things you've done, places you've been, people you know. I go over and over things I've done in my past and wish I'd have done things differently and Trying to figure out what I want to do in the future. There's all kinds of thought processes you can hear alone with yourself for a long period of time. Like today, I was, I got here at um, what was it? Six uh, twenty. Um, shooting light was like six thirty, seven or thirty nine, something like that. So I've been here since that, and it's almost well, like I said five thirty now, pretty close. So been a long time. A lot of things you can think about in that amount of time, and especially if you do it every day, <laughs> over and over again. That's why a lot of times it feels like at the end of hunting season, you're kind of, uh, I can't say purified, but your your thoughts are clear and clean. You've gone over so many things because you have so much time. I mean, obviously you're thinking about hunting, but once you're sitting and you're relaxed and you're where you, you need to be, your mind wanders off and other things. But, uh... It's kind of refreshing once once hunting season's over because I just feel refreshed or purified or just like you're focused really I guess you'd say on what you've done and what you're where you're going. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. If you do, chime in. Let me know how how you feel about it. Looks like I probably got a few more minutes here and then I'll pack up. Pretty cool day. I don't think it got into 40s today here at all. I saw 35s, the warmest I saw it. Don't know if it got any warmer than that or not. 